My name is Alden and I'm a design advocate here at Abstract. Today, we're going to talk about how to create a collection as well as share it with our team. First off, what is a collection? It's a curated set of screens from a sketch file that we can go ahead and share with our team members to either collect feedback or provide direct access to inspect or download assets of those screens. I'm going to navigate to Abstract's Mac application. I'm also going to change my appearance settings to dark mode because it looks better. Next thing I'm going to do is go into a project where I'd like to create a collection wherever my work lives. I can navigate to master or any active branch to create a collection. For this example, we'll create a collection on master. You can see I already have a couple created here based out of various artboards from files that we create and run our webinars with. Today I'm going to create a collection for an upcoming webinar we have called Collections and Reviews in Abstract. I can go ahead and go to the Files tab and hover over any of these previews to select them. I can also go ahead and grab the entire page. From there, I have the ability to add this collection or these artboards to an existing collection or just create a new one. I'll go ahead and create a new one. I can access the emojis through Control Command uh, Space. Collections and Design Reviews. Cool. I see most people taking advantage of the description for adding context or links to research or links to whatever. When anybody opens up this collection, they're presented with the artboards, the title of the collection, as well as anything in the description field. We can also use Markdown to stylize that. I'll add these to my collection. Abstract is going to do that for me. And from here, I have the ability to rearrange these artboards if I need to, as well as control whether or not they auto update. Auto update pretty much means that if I change these artboards or effect change to them in the sketch file, my collection has the ability to sync with those changes, meaning I have a collection or a link that I can share that potentially can always represent the latest version. I can also disable auto update for each of these artboards or layers uh, if I want to capture screens for a specific point in time um, or preserve an exploration or something like that. So now that I've got a collection, I can present this and share it with my team. Um, after Abstract 79 rolled out with public share links, if you have this enabled, you can change the sharing settings for a link. And if you choose anyone with a link, you can send this to somebody that doesn't even have an Abstract account, which is super useful for engineers and PMs to have quick access to our designs. They can access different versions of the layers within this collection, as well as inspect those layers and download assets if you define them. I'll just keep it to people in this project for now, copy a link to it, I can share that with anybody in Slack or drop it into a document just to cover the presentation mode. This is what we're going to be left with here. Um, really nice full screen uh, presentation of our work where we can cycle through these artboards and present them as well as, you know, have the ability to comment and annotate at mentioned people, use Markdown, send them notifications and tag them, leave feedback. Collections also provide a gateway to inspect. So if I hover over any of these um, or the inspect icon while I'm presenting a collection, I can go ahead and access the properties, styling code, um, textiles being used, colors, assets that are available for download directly through the collection. So it's really preferable to, you know, moving files around or sending somebody a link to the branch or, you know, um, asking them to navigate hundreds of artboards potentially to pay attention to a couple, or even if I'm presenting, um, really nice to be able to share a link to a collection with the team so that when I'm going into a design review, we can all be presented with the same work and have the ability to leave feedback, especially for minor things that don't need to derail the conversation. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're at abstract.com. Uh, for any issues, feel free to contact support at abstract.com. And, um, if you haven't already, feel free to sign up for a free 30-day trial. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.